one owner car guy and it's a windy day here so I hope the sound don't get cut a bit but this here is a 1979 Mercedes-Benz 450 SEL yeah, man I love these W116 models this one here is a I, I don't have my records with me it's a one or two owner I left my folder in Montana I've got a couple hundred cars and it's hard to keep track of what it was I know it's a one or two owner I'm believing it's one check the eBay ad I do put all that stuff in there um, this car has been just incredibly cared for um, it's in great shape I'm gonna go around and do kind of a once around and then I'll go up close and show you any minor details flaws damages stuff like that and there just ain't much to talk about as far as damage this wind is really kicking up and I'm really hearing it so I'm gonna put a little turn up the bass knob a little bit here or something and try and make sure you're hearing me can you hear me now so beautiful car I love the double bumpers on this thing um, these W116's are unique to me because they got all the modern options and all the classic looks a lot of it so you got the classic and modern together I love a W126 and a W140 but W126 loses a lot of that classicness with the chrome and everything bumpers get a little different and better on the 560's maybe in the 420's but you lose the chrome give and take give and take I tell you so these are neat and these Euro glass lights whoo buddy I'm gonna need a little help on knowing I think this might be a Euro model car but I don't know somebody might just put like Euro glass light in it um, I'll show the Vins, Hags and stuff all that different thing here in a minute well www.oneownercarguy.com and I just thought a minute ago how I should say that sooner and not wait a couple minutes but I'm gonna go ahead and go around now and show you the rest of it um, oneownercarguy.com you can see a lot of my stuff on there about 40 50 cars I got 200 250 actually 250 or more and um, I don't get them all on there soon enough but check out what I got on there and a lot of the sold stuff well that's the kind of stuff that's gonna be the stuff coming up because I sell the same thing over and over um, so let's go look at this thing here beautiful car nice newer set of steel belted all season radials these things are beautiful um, god I think there's about 95% tread I don't know man they look brand new I love the wheel wells on these older ones where everything was color coded matched and all chrome everywhere chrome everywhere lines broken a bit on your pen striping um, chrome around the windows you can see it's just a little lighter could use a good buffing for dings and dents and corrosion and stuff there just ain't much to talk about there's a I just seen a ding I know I did right there ah, a little light on the paint right there kind of faded Well, that's that side. Seems like the car might have been painted at some point. Not 100%. Uh, maybe a part of it was, or all of it was. Let's see here. Let's get a little more closer. I think, but I think it's probably been painted because I can see the tape off mark there along the trim. So, totally never me trying to hide nothing. I totally want to be up front with everything I'm showing you. Missing a button there on that piece. These double bumpers are in great shape though. Grill's in great shape, but you're missing a bar and a part of a bar. And you can get them where you can just replace the grill, but the grill's in such good shape. I want to make sure you see these wheels are in really good shape. But it's starting to crinkle the chrome around on the inside a little bit. All the plastic pieces on the wheel well even. Just absolutely beautiful. Okay. Under this bad boy. It is just clean as can be. Come on now. It's probably four or five seconds it takes. 
it's well worth it. I want to show you. Oh yeah. Thanks. Oh, taking pictures. Seventy-nine. Pretty cool. I like the old ones. Yeah. I like the new ones too, of course, but. I just seen Mike down at the lot yesterday. He came by for more of that cleanse and such. Is he on the? He drives that white four by pickup, right? Oh, okay. I thought that was him pulling in here last night. Nice seeing you. Oh, hi. How you doing? Nice to get this house over here. Right. Th that's my mom and dad there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down in Lakeside. Any cars you need, let me know. Oneownercarguy.com. Nice to meet you, Laurie. Let me know. I got a lot of cheap, good stuff. Yes, ma'am. Have fun. Nathan. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Have fun, Mrs. McGrath. They are very nice people. And sometimes things like that just take up a video. I, I don't even know if I'll cut it. Heck. Same thing on this wheel. I got to know them people by filming my cars in the cul-de-sac here. This is the most way I got to meet my neighbors. Small ding, small ding. And a couple chips above the wheel well here. <clears throat> I just try to keep my head down and keep out of their way. And Miss McGrath there that was in the nice Mercedes, she is just super nice. Sweetest person you ever want to meet. She's just fun to talk to. Sometimes I stop the video and just talk and talk. A little bubble there. You know what, I'm going to show you this. The chrome. There's a piece of damage right there. It's almost perfect on this end, but... Yeah, I think they had the whole car painted. Pretty sure of it. You know, you get these Mercedes Benzes like this sometimes, and a little old person goes in to talk to the paint shop, and they tell them, oh yeah, it needs painted. A little tear right there. I mean, it just needs a good buff job. I've seen that so many times, where the paint underneath is just almost perfect. A couple chips here. My hands are all greasy and dirty, I'm sorry. A little corrosion starting right there. There's a little spot on the other side I'll show you. And then on the roof right here, around that. Now this does not leak or nothing. Starting right there, where you'd want to grind it down and smooth it out before you paint it. I think I replaced that seal. See, they did paint, you can tell. Back carpet is not that pretty. Um, and I can get that replaced really cheap. A little scuff mark on this side piece. Now, this is a beautiful. W116. I always call him a poor man 69. I mean, 69 is nice, but 69 is expensive. And not only is it expensive, it does take a little bit more maintenance and such. Um, these are very cheap and economical to work on. Um, parts are plentiful. You don't have the same suspension issues. And you basically got the same looking car uh, the steel. I love the investment stuff like this. It hasn't really popped yet and became ultra expensive. This is a great car to kind of... I'd get it, I'd strip the trim, and I'd paint this puppy. And I just... that's about all it needs. There's a couple little interior flaws that I'll show you. Um, fog lights down there. Great shape and uncracked and all. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, www.oneownercarguy.com Also, check out my other site. It's www.cerealmarshmallows.com The same marshmallows is in your morning breakfast cereals, but no yucky cereal. Put them in your oatmeal, put them in your coffee, 
on your pancakes. Mmm, mmm, good stuff. And, in fact, the fifth comment. No, hang on, let me roll my hand. One, two, seventh comment. The seventh comment gets a free order of cereal marshmallows shipped right to you. Just the seventh comment. And when you get to be that seventh person, go ahead and call Samantha at 406-360-3613. Tell her I just want a free order of cereal marshmallows. Please send them to this address. And tell her Nathan says so. We'll get them right out to you. Seventh comment. Do there. Antenna works, by the way. And like I say, this trim. out correctly and stuff. Some chips around this piece. Department of Defense. Los Angeles Air Force Base sticker. I showed you these little chips right there. Oh, and here's this. I had the books for this thing and somebody stole them at the auction. It really, really, really ticks me off. Really, really, really. Okay, here we are going to go. Is that showing? Come on now. 135,758. And I will have to um, show you that up at the house to where you can actually see without the shadow on it. I should have showed you how it started there. Matter of fact, I'll start it over. This key is a little worn, and the plastic piece is bent. Right now, buddy. That's <laughs> to 40, like right now. And I literally just put my foot down on the gas such a little amount that is pitiful. I mean, 20%. Slow down to 20. Five. The downshift, beautiful. The upshift, beautiful. Right back to 40. Just like that. A town mill road, that's $6. Yeah, the 6.9 has got the bigger motor. You're gonna burn a bit more fuel, you know. And that's that. I'm pretty sure I filmed the interior separate to where this thing went. I figure the camera is burning the thing up all the time anyways. My camera just quits on me when it gets hot in the middle of the day like this. So I filmed the inside already. And I'm gonna come up here and just give you a different look at it and show you under the hood while I'm at it. You know what, I don't remember showing all that stuff. I really don't. So we're just gonna go up there now. And I'm gonna continue to show you this stuff to where I don't miss a beat here. <laughs> My camera's probably gonna die anyways. Oh yeah, well I'll show you. We got to see another startup and another and it didn't do it this time, but the, when you turn sometimes really hard and sharp, you get a little click in the front end. Um, tie rod in, probably more likely a suspension uh, bushing, you know? Okay, I feel the camera getting hot in my hand. Okay, Breeder's up there in her cage. She's going to be all worried because we haven't been in here. Okay, there we go. Door panels are just absolutely beautiful. In fact, I'll show you both of them here real quick. Oh, that door, sometimes when you pull on it once, it don't open, and I think maybe it's just because I don't remember and I don't pull hard enough, but... 
back seat's beautiful. I love these 450 SEL mats in them. Carpets underneath them look great. See, I'm thinking I already filmed this part now. And my camera's overheating. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And I wish I'd have filmed this differently. We'll talk to you, and we'll see how this clips together. Well, I've been filming so many W116, W126, and Mercedes in the past few days that I did not do the inside of this one yet. And I got home and got everything going and got down to the office and looked and oh my god, I didn't, so I brought it back. And we're going to do the inside now. Um, I'm going to start it up again here for you. Runs great. Um, your power windows, this switch is bad. The other ones are all fine. That bumps a little bit on that one. You see how it starts to skip like that when it comes down? That means at some point you're going to have a regulator issue. Could be a year, could be a day, could be 10 years. Um, the, I guess I should have left that on. Good thing it starts so nicely. The sunroof engages, but it needs to have the tracks greased, aligned, and all that. The antenna works. Sometimes it may get a little stuck, but it hadn't done that yet lately. Um, and radio works great. It's the um, Becker Mexico. We'll give that another shot. See, and that one kind of caught. So it at least goes half, and sometimes goes all the way. You notice it was all the way a second ago. Um, well, the insides that works. Everything on the inside works too. Um, even your rear light back there. Ah, we didn't even wipe the mirror down. A little discoloration on the inside of that. Little crows just started on that piece of chrome there. The, the headliner is in great shape. And I'll get out and show you the seats and such right now. This piece is loose on here. And you really should just re-glue. It's the, the stuff came off. It looks great, so it's there fine. Um, and the piece is in great shape. Um, carpet's great shape. On the passenger seat, you can see a split there, there, there. Oh, that's the worst of it over there. Horn works. Not going to honk it in the garage. Scare the dog and the mom and everybody. are in great shape besides the obvious which I'm gonna show up close it's this piece of leathers worn and this piece can be fixed for about 75 bucks but at that point I mean you can replace this whole base piece um, it depends on what pattern you want if you want the exact pattern tucked tight like that it costs a bit more if you just wanted to replace with a pattern in here kind of like this pattern and a solid piece we we're talking 150 175 bucks a seat for all new all redone. Pedals hardly have anywhere, just a slight wear on the edge of the brake there. Now we're like, you know, under the carpet mats. And to also take up my stuff and show the carpet. There's a couple little stains. The guy can shampoo and get something out. Now that piece is 
great condition. A little bit of dirt on it, um, actually. This piece, this cleans up and it comes right off. It's just I didn't take the time to do everything on this. And you can see, which now you can also see why my nails and such are always so dirty. But it just needs a good brush and some degreaser. This stuff will clean right up and look beautiful. I didn't do a whole lot of everything to this car. Door jams are beautiful on it. Door sill plates, beautiful. And you can see where they clean the top piece and not the side and around it. Headrests are in great shape. Door panels are in great shape. Your mirror adjustments. The rod has came unhooked in there. And I can actually see it. They adjust fine like this, but that rod needs to be hooked in there. I say door panels are beautiful. Rear seat, beautiful. Aftermarket carpets are in great shape, and the carpets below them are in great shape. This here, the back of the seat is kind of torn on top there. And this here, of course, as you can see, is not in the best issue. Oh, when I just broke the little latch on that, it was a little dry. Parts of your medical kit are still in there. And band-aids. So that there, your carpet, I would have the carpet replaced. And I can have that replaced for like 40, 50 bucks at the same time as the, um, Seats, if you did anything on that. Backs of the seats are beautiful. I don't think I showed you the front there. Yeah? Got a little squeak in it. Needs a little oil. Look at the foam and everything. This is a 79. And that wheel is just so beautiful. This clip has came off the edge there. And that's why it sets down a little bit. There. Seal seems good. If it did get a little water at some point or something on the back there, it seems to have been taken care of. It doesn't leak and get wet when it rains. I love that peanut butter interior. The best thing about this car, likely, is the way it runs. Um, it runs beautifully. It looks great. It's it's nice. It's comfortable. Everything about the inside is just very nice. But, honestly, it's a pure joy to drive. This hangs down a little bit. I could probably use a little adjustment where it stay up a little more level. This is chewed up a little at the top, just a little. And like I was saying on regulators, this window stays just like that a bit. I'm gonna try it out here, hang on. Yeah, the track's a little bit... I'll bet you got a pop rivet coming out or something. I'm pretty upfront about these things. I want you to see anything you can see. <clears throat> Beautiful car. I don't think I showed you into the hood yet. Get over here. They did these. The fireballs over there, or whatever you call it, the fender inside of the fender there for a long time. Like I was telling you on these tires before, my god, they're just beautiful. You ain't gonna have to put tires on it for a heck of a long time. Link can get lost in there, you have to go in after him. And oh, yeah, they're in here. 
crack on all the different models of how it was supposed to. Man, it's got a line on it. It looks pretty dang good. Patina on the air cleaner. Um, very easy to scuff and redo. I choose 99% of the time to just leave them stock. Let you see what you're working with. Um, I believe it's been off and redone. Definitely a maintained, taken care of car. It's in beautiful shape. Make sure to check my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Big old 4.5 liter. You see a lot of the. I put up 60, 70, 80 pictures of each one on that website. And make sure and check that out. Call me if you're interested in it. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, buy it up, I won't answer. Don't worry about calling too late though. Um, make sure to back into this link. And that Volvo there, I just did a review. Um, 16,000, there's that little thing I was talking about. 16,000 original miles, and that's a 86,560 SL. Got the 36,000 mile Mark 8 coming up also very soon. He's wanting to play with the dog. My neighbor's dog, it's a good dog. Okay. That's another test drive for you. I gave you my number there, it's 406 544 6919. What should we call it? Your radio. So, call me anytime. Once again, 406 544 6919. If I said it three times in a row, I'm sorry. And www.oneownercarguy.com. Lights are beautiful. Um, you can catch me on that site and see all kinds of cars, trucks, and SUVs for sale. Everything I got is mostly one and two owner, sometimes three. And every once in a while, an odd project. Import, export. I will ship this to your port. It don't matter where you are. India, China, China I don't know how to do yet. China is the only one I don't know how to do. China and Cuba. Other than that, man, it's open, it's, it's fair game. Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, you name it. We've shipped there um, pretty much all, all the places like that. It's easy to do. I'll do all the paperwork for you and stuff. Nathan, you got my number? One owner car guy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, trying to remember if I didn't show you something and from the beautiful tires to the sleek sides and everything it's just beautiful thanks for watching we'll talk to you